What's up guys, it's Justin here, and today we're checking out some new portable Bluetooth speakers from Sony, which is from their X-Series lineup. We've got three different sizes right here, including the XE200, the XE300, and also the XG300, and all of them have different use cases, as well as different form factors that are more specific to your lifestyle, because it's the middle of summer right now, and if you're someone who goes outside a lot, or maybe you're traveling, or just wants to have a great speaker to be able to bring with you and play music when you're out with friends, for example, then, you're definitely looking for something that not only has good quality, but also good levels of durability. And one of the most important features is good battery life. If you guys like to win one of these speakers, just make sure to go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment down below as to what your favorite one of the three is and also subscribe to the channel. And also leave your Instagram username down below because I'll be picking a winner in a month and contacting you directly on Instagram. I also wanna give a huge thanks to Sony for sponsoring this video. So I've been traveling a ton in the last month. It started in Cupertino, and then I went to Montreal for the Formula One Grand Prix, and then I flew to London for Wimbledon, and also drove out to the countryside, and the last stop was in Germany, where we also went on a bit of a road trip, and I actually brought this Bluetooth speaker with me, and the way these speakers are built are for on-the-go use. Beginning with the XE200 and the XE300, my favorite one in terms of its form factor is the XE200, because it is the smallest of the bunch, but still packs a large amount of power when it comes to the sound. You take a look at the design at first, it has a bit of an octagonal look that is a unique shape. And with that, there's a fabric finish on the outside as well as a soft touch silicone that wraps around the rest of the speaker. Essentially, whenever we went on a bit of a road trip to like the countryside, I just went ahead and threw this in the back of the car or in the backpack and it was good to go. And when it came to durability, it has held up really nicely. I've had these on the rocks, uh, it's been brought to the beach and you can see that it is still in great condition. And I think that is very important, especially for something that is on the go all the time. When it comes to sound quality, Sony's obviously a company that has a ton of experience in the field of audio. We reviewed their XM5 flagship headphones recently, and we've also checked out some of the earbuds, their sound bars, and also the audio that is built into their TVs, which is the best in the industry. But beyond the hardware side, there's also a lot of great software optimizations as well. But focusing on the hardware itself, has a pair of X balance speaker units that give you a powerful and clear sound. What is really unique about the speaker specifically is that traditionally you're gonna find a few different like tweeters, woofers, and passive radiators. But the approach that Sony has gone with is two large speaker elements that are actually not circular shaped, but are a bit of like an oval, which give you greater clarity and a wider sound stage. Instead of the traditional route of a circular speaker, this non-circular shape allows for better sound pressure and reducing distortion because of the larger surface area of how the sound is able to be dispersed. And beyond the X-Balance speaker, another unique area of the design is the line-shaped diffuser. So a lot of times with portable speakers, you might see like an open fabric finish throughout the 360 cylindrical design, but instead they actually have a line shaped diffuser right here that is able to give you a nice hollow sound stage, which creates a line source that distributes the sound energy a lot more evenly and in a wide sound front to be able to fill the area. Instead of distributing the sound in a very broad manner, which can often be a bit imbalanced, what the line shaped diffuser is trying to do is concentrate the sound throughout a narrow sound field while also directly it in cross directions to be able to still give you a very wide directional spread, which is obviously very important if you just have it sitting in the middle of the table and want the sound to be able to reach a relatively broad scope while still giving you a very concentrated audio performance. On top of that, there's also two passive radiators, one located on the top and also the bottom. But what I like about the speaker is that there's just a few ways you're able to place it. You can either have it standing this way, you can also have it sitting sideways. The line shape diffuser only works fully when the speaker is vertical, but the the customer actually has the freedom to select stereo mode via the Music Center app when the speaker is placed horizontally. So from a sound quality standpoint of the XC200 and the XC300, what were some of my observations of that? I would say overall, the bass is definitely a huge focus. As you guys know, Sony always focuses a ton on the bass through the extra bass technology, and these speakers definitely have that characteristic as well, despite being the smaller options of the lineup compared to the XG300 that we're gonna be checking out towards the end of this video. The bass is definitely on the heavier side, so you definitely have to have that preference, but on top of that, the mids, the highs, definitely did ring out a little bit, but I did notice the bass to be the most prominent point of audio. Although it is a bit of a different approach with the line shaped diffuser, as opposed to being like the traditional portable speaker that has more of a 360 degree directional design, it was a little bit interesting and a bit of a different approach to the traditional. And although it's still able to reach large volumes, 
I wouldn't say like a very high volume is its main priority because I feel like sound quality was definitely the biggest priority here. This speaker also features an IP67 water and dust resistant rating. So if you're bringing it out to the beach or get some water on it, it's gonna be totally fine. But beyond that, just the way it's built is very solid and shows very little wear. You take a look at like the silicone, like soft touch finish that goes around. It's probably one of my favorite finishes for any outdoor product. And you also have all of your buttons back here, including the power button, the blue Bluetooth, the charge indicator, play pause, volume control, battery, and also the mic mute button. Because you're able to make calls on this and it actually has a very good echo isolation through its microphones, having a mute button is very important to some, but I like how everything is just very intuitive and it also announces the battery life through the speaker itself and gives you a very accurate percentage to be able to gauge how much battery that you have left. The XE200 right here has a 16 hour battery life, whereas the XE300, which is a slightly larger model, has a 24 hour maximum battery life. And with just a 10 minute charge, you can get 70 minutes of music listening. It charges via USB Type-C, which is very important in 2022 because there are still way too many products out there that charge with micro USB. One little touch that I do like just to cap things all off though is this lanyard. You can strap it on to like the side of a backpack and take it with you. And although it isn't like the lightest and the smallest speaker that you can get, the amount of power and great sound quality as well as exceptional battery life that you're able to get from the small and especially with the larger unit is really good. So I feel like this XE200 model is probably gonna be the most popular of the bunch that suit the most needs. So the other speaker from the X series that we're also taking a look at is the XG300. And this is essentially like the bigger brother to the XE200 and 300 because of its overall size, but it also has a few additional features that are relatively interesting. But it does have a handle that is built in, which is a nice touch. It is able to deliver a ton of power because inside of here, there's a total of four speakers. It does feature the same X balance speakers that give you a very clear and distortion free sound while also contributing to the sound stage as well because it maximizes the real estate instead of being limited to just a circular shape, which is kind of a unique technology that Sony has applied to all of their Bluetooth speakers in this lineup. From a design standpoint, it is also a log shape. It has some feet right here that allow it to sit flat and it has this nice fabric material that wraps all the way around and your IO and controls are relatively easy to access. You have your power on one side, your Bluetooth. There's also a mega bass button because with the larger form factor, you're able to get more of that punch and power and bass. But on the other side, you have play pause, volume up and down. As we flip it around here, there's USB type C for charging and you can actually connect it via 3.5 millimeter as well. And there's a battery indicator button where if you press it, it will actually announce the battery percentage. Battery, about 60%. And there's also light control. Another great feature is that there is a USB type A port that you can use to charge some of the devices that you might have. So for example, your smartphone or a tablet or any accessory that you have out and about, you can go ahead and charge that. And the battery life itself is 25 hours, which is a lot. And on top of that, you actually have some lights that are built into the side here and you're able to circle between different sequences depending on what you would like. And I think that's always a nice feature to have in Bluetooth speakers if you plan to use it. Just like the rest of the lineup, you can actually connect up to 100 of the X-Series speakers in a party mode. So, I mean, 100 is a lot, but if you have a few friends that have the same speaker and you want to be able to pair them up to build like a stereo sound and have them placed in different areas, it can play everything on there simultaneously, which adds to the whole ecosystem element that we've seen throughout the portable speaker market. You can also have the LED lights synchronized with music beats, for example, and you can also set specific patterns via the Sony Music Center app. From from a sound quality standpoint, there's obviously more expectation to the amount of power and punch that you would expect out of a speaker that is larger in its form factor and weight. And it definitely does deliver in that aspect. And if you thought the bass was already enough on the XE200 and the 300, it is at another level on a speaker of this size. It just has a big level of presence and wherever you put it in the room, it is going to be able to do a great job of filling it. But at the same time, if you have this outside on a park bench, you're really able to hear the resonation in the amount of bass that it's able to deliver, especially in the mega bass mode. 
With the X-Balance speakers, I found the sound stage to still be very well balanced, and at the same time, it doesn't really drown out all the other areas, but you can really adjust the sound characteristics as well as the bass specific to the music that you listen to and your own preferences on the app. This speaker does also have the IP67 water and dust resistant rating, and yeah, just having the handle and being able to bring this around anywhere, especially if you want to have a nice amount of presence, maybe more volume and bass than the typical Bluetooth speaker then this is a really good option and I think the LED lights are a great touch. So when it comes to these three speakers from the Sony X-Series lineup, which of the three do I recommend? The one that I've been using the most has been the XE200. When it comes to traveling and putting it in the luggage and bringing it around with me, as similar as a lot of camera equipment as well, it's just one that just makes the most sense. It is portable, delivers a lot of power. The battery life is more than enough, but if you wanna bring that a step up in terms of battery life and the power delivery, then the XE300 is a really good option as the middle ground that gives you 24 hours of battery life. The largest speaker though is one that can still be really good for bringing around to the park or if you're camping, but as you can see, it is a lot larger to carry around. Some of the great features that it has though is a 25 hour battery life, it delivers more power with a four speaker setup, and it also has LED lights on each side, which could be a very good touch if you need it. Generally speaking, I was just like taking these out in the daytime and bringing it to the cliff side. So as I mentioned, having the string to be able to tie it to the side of the backpack and bring it with you with all the other stuff that you're bringing was the one that suited my scenario the best, but there's definitely a market out there for a larger speaker. And that is essentially why this series has multiple options for you to pick from. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.